Hey there, it's John with John Glazer Photography and today I want to show you how to hang your wall art on your walls really easily and efficiently using some simple tools with uh, your wall art that you receive from Graphy Studio. Um, so what's great about Graphy Studio is they make everything really quick and easy with how they do their wall hangers and I'll talk about that in a second. But first, there's a couple of tools that you're gonna wanna have. One is monkey hooks. So monkey hooks can be found on Amazon or you can get them at Lowe's or your Home Depot, anywhere um, that sells any kind of wall hanging supplies. Usually they sell them there and you can find them there or you can get them on Amazon. Um, if you need some, just let us know and we can send you guys some too as well. Um, we also, would you'll want a level. We are lucky to have this little bitty level that I got in a kit one time. It's about four inches across, which is perfect because uh, Graphy Studio has a four inch system that um, I'm gonna show you here in a se uh, second. But any kind of level will do. You just need to have something level so that you can see how it's gonna fit on the walls. So the great thing about Graphy Studio wall art is they all have a four by four kind of wall hanging system. All the wall hanging is mounted in the back of it. And so if you measure four inches over and four inches down, that's where you're gonna to get to these wall hangers, which makes it really convenient and easy because you know exactly how to measure when it gets to your wall. So what we do, by the way, if you're measuring for acrylics, be careful because they are sharp on the edges and you can cut yourself. So just be aware of that and be uh, careful. They're not like um, gonna cut you bad. Um, just make sure you can not get scraped or anything with them. So what I do is I take my level and I make sure I have a monkey hook in my hand as well. Or if I have a partner or somebody here to help me with it, I will put my level on the top of the wall art and I will put it on the wall where I want it to be, just like this. And then I'll make sure that that level is right where it needs to be when I get it into the place that I want it to be. Then I'll take my monkey hook and on the corner of each side, I will put a little dot on each corner. You can use a pen, a pencil, whatever. That works as well. But I use my monkey hook because I already have it in my hand. But a pencil or a pen mark is good as well. If you want to do a pencil, you can erase it after it's all said and done. Before I do this, before I show you this, just know that um, you might need a stud finder because if you have a stud in the wall, you will not be able to use a monkey hook. Oh, you'll have to move over a little bit. The other thing that you want to consider is um, if you're in an apartment complexes or some places that have um, fire protected walls, um, that means that there's the drywall and on the back side of the drywall, there's another drywall looking piece that's thicker and more difficult to penetrate. And if you try and put monkey hooks through that, you're gonna hit that piece and you're gonna think you're hitting a stud, but you're not, you're actually hitting that drywall. You'll probably need a screw or a, a, um, a drill, or you'll need to do some um, other methods of hanging your stuff, but it just depends on where you are. All of our stuff here in our studio is just straight up drywall, so it makes it really easy. And most houses are like this, um, but just make sure you understand that if you're going in and you get to a point where it's not going in any further and you check your stud finder and it's not going through the wall, um, chances are there's this uh, fire rated uh, piece of material behind the wall that's not allowing you to go through the wall. You might need a drill. So we had this happen in our parents' apartment complex and we had to use a drill and just go to uh, you know, drywall um, anchors and screws. So just be aware of that. Um, but what I do is I find my little mark. This is about four inches, but you can measure four inches on your level or with a tape measure or something like that. And I go four inches across. And what's nice is because this is a level, I can see that it's level going four inches across from my hole or like my little dot. I put my monkey hook on the corner of the level. I go four inches down. This doesn't have to be exact because the holes on the back of the, the, um, the wall art have, like there's a gap there, so you have a, a few inches to, to play with. And then I know about right here is my four inches, where it's just where, which is where that hole is. And so with monkey hooks, what's nice is, like I said, you don't need any tools. 
imagine this this hole is not there all I have to do is put my monkey hook and start twisting and twisting and pushing and pushing until it will pop through the back of the drywall the hook will sit in the back of the wall so it will, this part will rest against the back of the drywall and this part will stick out so we'll stick it in the hole bring it up there our hook is ready to go we'll get our other hook same thing like I just did I would do four inches across four inches down stick it in the wall make it go to the top and then I you can check it with a level usually when I do this it's already level because I made it sure it was level this way and level this way and that entails that it's going to be here um, like I said makes it really easy I'm telling you this is how all the wall art that's in my studio this is exactly how I hung it so get my wall art find my pieces in the back find the hook Get it in there, put it on the wall, there you go. That is how easy it is, folks. Um, so I hope that helps and helps you, uh, helps you get your wall art proudly displayed in your home. Uh, and I hope you get to enjoy that Graffy Studio wall art that you receive from us and uh, those beautiful photos that you have for your home for years to come. My name is John with John Glazer Photography. Thank you so much for choosing us to do your photos of your dogs and your families. And we hope that this is helpful. If not, let us know. Contact me at john at john glazer photography and I'll be happy to help you. We'll talk to you soon.